Welcome to our 400,000 square foot facility here in Reno, Nevada. This is where we design, assemble, and support all of our lithium ion battery products. Let's take a quick look at how we assemble the most trusted and reliable batteries on the market. We begin by loading grade A cylindrical lithium iron phosphate cells into modules. After a quick visual check for proper alignment and polarity, the modules are loaded into these welding machines behind me. The welding machines spot weld the current collectors to the anode and the cathode, ensuring that the cells are connected in parallel at the desired capacity, 50 amp hours, 100 amp hours, or 270 amp hours. The welded modules are then mounted into the cyclers behind me where they are completely cycled. First they're discharged to zero, and then they're charged all the way up to 100%. And we do this for three reasons. First of all, so that we can measure the capacity of each module. Second, so that we know that they're at 100% state of charge when they're being assembled into packs. And finally, so that we can minimize the variation in capacity in modules that are in the same pack. Now that the small battery modules have been cycled and sorted based on their capacity, they're put in a bin and serialized and ready for final assembly. So the bin obviously is going to depend on which battery pack we're making. In this particular case, we're making our GC2 model. We integrate all of the other devices and elements that go into the battery pack. For example, the integrated heating system. The sensor wires are soldered on. The modules are bolted together in series, either 4 for 12 volt or 8 for 24 volts. And then finally, we mount the battery management system along with all the other current carrying metals, the brass and the copper. The battery management system, which has been fully tested, is designed to accommodate the 100 or 200 or 300 amp currents, depending on which battery model you were building. And then finally, the packs are moved to the final testing facility where they are tested for all of the regular current and voltage temperature cutoffs for quality control. Our big batteries, like the patented GC3 that we're assembling on this line here, are made in pretty much the same way, but on a larger scale. The GC3, for example, has 320 cells, and it really packs a punch at 300 continuous amps. So the battery management system is designed to deliver a lot more current. Every single BMS, regardless of battery model, undergoes the same rigorous testing. We test for voltage cutoffs, current cutoffs, temperature cutoffs, short circuit protection, just to ensure that every battery is safe and ready to be delivered. After our batteries are epoxied and sealed to IP65 certification, they're packaged to hazmat shipping standards, either in a box or on a pallet, after which we send them direct to the consumer or through distribution or to dealers, or direct to our OEM customers. So you've seen how we design and assemble all of our batteries right here in our facility. But often we're not just delivering batteries to our OEM customers. We will deliver a full system that we've designed in-house. That system will be comprised of not just the batteries, but chargers, charge controllers, alternator regulators, all designed and mounted in a compact enclosure. And that's what's happening behind me here. We're actually assembling the batteries and all the components in these enclosures. And it's these enclosures that will be marked for shipping and going to our OEMs. Each one of these delivering a specific function for that specific OEM. Thank you for joining me on this quick tour of our battery factory here in Reno, Nevada.